What's up? What's up? It's been a minute. I should have cleaned this brush out before I started it, but. What's up, what's up, what's up? It's been a while, hasn't it? What's up, whoever you are? channel and I'm doing it on Facebook live for the moment. See how long that's gonna last. What's up, what's up? Hello whoever that is. I can't see who it is but Good day to you. Is that Chris? What's good with you, man? some colors on the fly yeah brand new man first thing I painted in uh, two months at least if not three how's the picture everything all right What's up, Randy? How's the picture? Sound, all that? Am I good or what? I actually got the phone tape to the, uh, I should have knocked this pencil leg down a little bit. I'm also videotaping this for my YouTube channel. All right, all right. It's good to be working, huh? I'm actually doing this for my YouTube channel, Tone is the Mayor Brushing. I will be uploading this one. Everybody seemed to like the way I do leather. I'm gonna do this lady with the, this leather jacket on. We'll be using eraser techniques because I'm flying through this so far. It's 
been a couple of months since I uh, actually picked up my airbrush, believe it or not. Yeah, I'm good, man. So far, so good. Coronavirus is not near me. I should have knocked down the lead with the eraser first, but I just wanted to paint something in the cover anyway. The later stages. Facebook purposes, the music is mine, I made it myself. On the Reasons program when I was doing hip hop, these are some beats I didn't, I didn't use. All right, man, money is always welcome. And I am selling all the artwork you've seen in my videos. The Tupac, the Tupac, Aretha Franklin's, the, well, just about everything. If you're interested, just inbox me. This lady will be having a leather jacket on when I'm done with this. Doing this on Yupo paper, Yupo paper, however you pronounce it. is a synthetic paper it's like a poster board it's doing this it's a 20 by 26 with a I think it's a two inch or two and a half inch border around it so what's going on how y'all dealing with the quarantine? Personally, it's not bothering me too bad. The only part I hate is that I'm not getting laid. But besides that, it ain't bothering me. What's up, what's up, hello. Good day to you, whoever's in the house, in the place to be. This will be a lady in a leather jacket. I seem to get a good response on how I do leather, so I'm gonna do as much of it on Facebook as possible, and whatever is not on Facebook will be on my Toad is an airbrushing page on YouTube. Wow, my reference just fell to the floor.
because I'm using the mount that I normally use for the phone so I can watch it off YouTube and so I'm actually holding the reference in my hand as I'm painting it as you see. I'm open for commissions. Cash app is available. and the flesh color because it gives it more depth when you build colors on top of it. So I'm just going in there with straight brown. Doing this on yellow paper once again. Cash App, T-O-N-E-O-N-E, -E, number 3-R-D-F-L-O-O-R. -O -O All donations and cash payments are accepted through there. If you're going to uh, Western Union me, the cash, that's the only other way I'll take it. Inbox me and I'll give you the information. Added the messenger back on the phone, even though it's a pain in the ass. Hey, Rena, what's up? How you doing? Putting this video up on uh, my YouTube channel, Tonism Airbrushing. 
hopefully I'll do this one from beginning to end because the Kobe Bryant that I did last, I did do some of it on video, but I didn't do the whole thing. I might upload it anyway. But so far, I haven't. purposes, the music is mine, done on my Reasons program, back in the days when I was doing music, third floor entertainment, out of Far Rock, Queens, New York City. right outside Jamaica, between Jamaica and Rosedale, Queens. What's up, Manny? How you doing, man? Manny's a good artist. One of my um, favorite Facebook internet artist. Um, he does things by hand. So check out his work if you get a chance. And my boy Chris Williams is another airbrush artist who does nice work. You might want to check him out. I don't know if he's still here. He might have bounced. did appear earlier in the video. I'm using a acrylic base paint, acrylic water base paint. One of the major brands that don't sponsor me. If you want to know what brand it is, you got to inbox me. Now I'm going to use a little burnt sienna to go on top of this mesh I made from the burnt sienna and white. Surprised I don't have a bigger crowd with the lockdown going on. Or I should say martial law. Figured my friends would check me out, but then I usually do that anyway, so I ain't surprised about that. I thought there would be more people.
It's wet and rainy outside here in Queens, New York right now. I was gonna go food shopping, but I didn't wanna be standing on line in the rain. tornado in Georgia. That's one good thing about New York. You don't get all the tornadoes and the crazy shit. Just two and three feet of snow in the winter. Cold temperatures. So far, I'd rather have that than a hurricane or a tornado.
going to pick that up with the eraser. So it looks a little better than what I got it. What's up, what's up, whoever's in the, in the uh, feed? Just stopping by and checking me out. I'm also shooting a video for my um, Tony's and Airbrushing YouTube channel. Recording on the laptop. While I'm broadcasting through the phone. Using somewhere between 15 to 20 pounds of air pressure. Oh shit. I was worried about this shit slips. This phone is kind of heavy for this uh, camera mount.
that was the last thing I forgot. I missed it. Heavy. I got that ZTE Max 5.7 inch screen and it's kind of heavy. And I'm also shooting this for my Tonism Airbrushing YouTube channel. Sorry about that, Randy. The phone slipped. I hit the button and shut the other feed off. But I will be doing this whole video on uh, my YouTube channel. So what's up? What's up, Mark Mora? How are you? What's good with you?
Ain't nothing, man. Just trying to keep myself from being bored. Did all the research I could do on that um, coronavirus and 5G shit. That's what kind of took me away from painting for a minute. I had to see for myself. I started watching it in January, to tell you the truth. I don't know how Trump messed it, but personally, I think they're just using that so they can cancel the election in November. So we might as well get used to this because this might be quite a while. researching a uh, Spanish flu which happened a uh, hundred years ago and that lasted two years so if you don't have a hobby you better get one I think there's going to be more than one lockdown myself. This is just the first one. Or, uh, I won't even call it a lockdown because it's more like martial law. Using the airbrush with a two millimeter nozzle on it. Acrylic base, water based acrylic paint. One of the major brands, if you want to know what brand it is, inbox me and I'll tell you. It's good paint though. Bend it down big time. Okay, okay, okay. This is like the only hobby I keep that I've kept up with. I dropped a few others over the years. I kept them. This is what I'm doing, if you're wondering. I 
Hey, Samantha, what's good with you? It's one of my Instagram friends. She said I could paint one of her pictures. And I thought she was really attractive, especially in this uh, leather jacket and... Um, This picture here. So I figured I'd do it. I'm all right. I feel pretty good. Just bored a lot. The artist is always the first one that feels a pinch when the economy goes bad. What's up, Todd? What's going on with you? You too. Enjoy your shower. Appreciate you stopping by. just went out. I don't know why when I dropped the phone. And I did not print the picture out. Watching two live feeds. for the phone to reboot back up. It went out when I dropped it. So how's everybody? I'm all right, man. I feel pretty good. Doing my best to stay healthy. Keep my mind occupied. How you doing? I kind of need to mount this somehow, somewhere.
What sucks? Shit, I'm still breathing. That's good. What's up, Gary? Some picture I saw that you did the other day, I hit like on. I thought it was kind of, kind of hot. Gary's an artist too, if y'all don't know him. Let's see how long this tape holds this up. That's what I'm doing. I got two mounts and one is for the Facebook feed, the other one's for the taping of uh, for the YouTube channel. So I gotta improvise and make it work. You know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? What's happening, y'all? Somebody say something. Everybody healthy? Everybody healthy? How y'all feeling? Good, I'm glad to hear that. I got friends that have uh, people dying from that. And it seems like a lot of people in my old neighborhood are dying from it too, because it was one of the first places in New York that got hit. So far, my immediate family is good. My immediate homies are good. And I can't ask for too much more than that. My 
my condolences to anybody who's lost anybody due to this slow response to the virus. Hey, Lisa, how you doing? love to you, Lisa. I appreciate the way you share my artwork. You share it more than just about anybody else on my list. I really appreciate it. Lisa and I went to grade school together, which was a <coughs> lot of years ago, probably before most of you cats were born. What's up, everybody? Hello, good day to you. What's good with you? What's up, what's up? Appreciate y'all stopping by and checking me out. This is the first piece I've done since, uh, I think it was January or early February was the last time I painted something I consider serious artwork.
Yeah, I hear you, Todd. Better paint something while you still can. So how's it look so far? What's up, Caesar? Sariano. So how's it look so far, y'all? So, uh, I'm using an Olympus two millimeter mouse. Same airbrush they um, models a custom Micron SB after, which I also had, but I like this one best. I might actually sell it. Side feed, so you can. Uh, Look straight over the airbrush without having to tilt the cup anyway. With the cup on the side, you don't have to worry about your view being obstructed which I prefer over the, uh, the C cups. And I get pretty good detail out of it. Detail I get out of it, and it's, uh, it's not ex as expensive to repair as that custom SB that uh, Iwata makes. And I prefer it over the uh, Custom SB, believe it or not. That SB is too delicate. Yeah, I'm thinking about selling mine. But 
dollar still has some kind of value to it. Use the eraser to pull out the highlights instead of using white paint. Because white paint will give you a blue shift in your color. You can also add a drop of orange to your white to counteract the blue shift, but in this case here, I'd rather just erase it. I'm using the, um, I haven't touched my clips in BCS in about a year, at least. Only time I've been using it recently is the clear stuff. And the CS I really don't like because it doesn't give me enough detail. Even though I painted that Run DMC, I don't know if y'all have seen it, but it's on one of my, it's one of my featured photos on the page. I've done that with the uh, CS on a 16 by 20 on canvas. But I like the control I get with this quicker than the uh, CS. to use whatever's comfortable for you. I've done uh, I've done detail work with the uh, BCS also. I file my nozzle down with a filing block. I got a video on how you do that on my uh, YouTube page. If you want to know how that's done, you can check my video out. And I got one of those needle sharpeners. And I know I haven't bought a needle since I got it, so if you don't have one, I recommend you getting it. Save that bread. Now, I haven't used it since I got this. Um, This um, Olympus. And between the needle sharpener and my filing block to fix the nozzle, I haven't bought a nozzle or a needle in about going on three years now. So if you want to know how you file your nozzle down so you get more detail and, and save it, check out my uh, my video on the toners and airbrushing YouTube page. Yeah. Definitely worth the money. And if y'all know me, I don't like giving free commercials out, but because 
I am unsponsored. For you youngsters, they used to use these for um, the manual typewriters to erase. If you ever saw one before, but it's the airbrush artists use them to pull out the highlights on the um, artworks. It's good on. Uh, you can use this on canvas also if your canvas is gessoed, smooth. Big up to my boy John Tyson and Javi Lopez, Javier um, Soto and Troy Pierce. They're the one who put me up on this. Most of the time, I don't have to use it at all because I normally wouldn't went in with the color like this, but I guess this is that rust you was talking about, Ty. Just want to pull some highlights before I switch to the next darker shade of brown. Get in the eyes and in her nose and around her neck so it kind of starts popping out towards you. for commissions. And I appreciate donations at T-O-N-E-O-N-E, -O -N -E, the number three RD floor at Cash Shop.
wouldn't be offended if you just sent a dollar. No times is hard on the boulevard. Everybody's trying to make ends meet on Main Street. I know how it is. But you gotta remember, if it wasn't for artists and musicians and filmmakers, you'd be bored to death right now. I know I watched more movies and played more music over the last two weeks than I have in the last five years combined. Especially since I threw my TV out six months ago. Mm. I get all my news online. At least I was up until this morning. I'm not crazy about doing the online thing on the phone. I know these phone companies and internet companies suck. Shutting people's phones off during the lockdown. Stupid. Once gets a person gets used to doing without, they don't need you no more. Pull the highlights now before you drop the color because I just glazed it with the flesh tone over the lip. Hey, Celeste, how you doing? All right, send me the picture. Inbox me the picture. And I'll send you information on how to uh, drop the deposit. do canvas also, even though I don't have any, but I'll paint over something. I had a couple of pieces in here I'm tired of looking at, so I could drop some gesso on them and paint your picture on that if you want, or I could do it on this yepo paper, which is similar to poster board. But just hit the inbox. you know what you gotta do. I take Cash App and Western Union. I think the ca check cashing place is still open. Even though you paint on top of the pencil, you can still take the pencil line out.
Appreciate everybody who shared my feed. Big ups to you and everybody who shared my artwork. Much love to you. Once I hit like. Dropping comments, those are appreciated also. Also shooting this for my um, YouTube channel as I'm doing this live on Facebook. doing here is just putting in little dots so when I go over it it gives it some kind of texture or oh, I'm trying to imitate the little texture in her skin because I don't use texture stencils I make my own They kind of make the work look artificial to me, in my opinion. Some people use them really well, but I was never really good with stencils. Not like that. So that's how I do my... stand out more as the artwork progresses. Questions, what's up, Wayne? Any questions, hit me up. Well, I'll answer them now because uh, I get so much stuff to my inbox. It might be a minute before I get back to you, so you better ask it while I'm here if there's anything you want to know. Thank you. 
I'm also shooting this to my YouTube channel. Can't tell you exactly when I'm going to upload it. Occasionally, I'll use a hand shield, but most of the time, I don't. I'm a ex-graffiti writer from uh, late 70s, early 80s. And uh, there's no handheld stencils on the wall. much even when I was first airbrushing every now and then I would take a matchbook cover and maybe use it but this edge is a bit soft freehand the whole picture. lesson I had was like after I've been airbrushing 25 years already I 
I went to the uh, airbrush getaway. I had a homie show me something on color back in I think that was 92. He showed me something on burnt sienna color flesh tone but beside that Those are the only two lessons I had. Everything else is on me. Between reading, because when I was coming up, there was no YouTube. big secret almost like the way the DJs used to black out the labels on their records in the early days of hip hop airbrushing was similar I got kicked out of so many spots looking at people doing their airbrush. It's not funny. I will go in there with another darker brown later. so far what y'all think would y'all like to see more live feeds in the, in the future or you're just bored because you ain't got nothing to do and you can't go outside Simon says stay in the house Thank you, Nick. What's up, Rabbit? Appreciate it. I usually mix all my colors in the cup. Or on the uh, surface of what I'm painting itself. first started airbrushing in the late 80s. My teacher brought an airbrush into class in high school. He let me spray it. And then when I came up with enough money to get my own, Bought one. And learn through trial and error.
there was a guy in uh, Unique's on in the village in Manhattan. This dude, Matt Brown, showed me uh, what an Iowata airbrush was because I was using Pache in the beginning. He told me that was crap. Get you one of these. And it made a big difference. And I was off to the races. That must have been in probably about 84, I think that was. I was like the only guy who showed me uh, I prefer Wicked and Illustration. But I'm thinking of switching to ink because ink sprays a hell of a lot smoother. Even though I do thin my paint down like, like ink. Because even, excuse me, even with ink, you gotta add water to it to spray it. part I like the Kratex line Aquaflow was supposed to send or a representative of Aquaflow was supposed to send me the illustration line to test out but that never happened yet so tried the textile line and you can't use it on the Shepo paper like you can with Cray Texas textile line. And I only do t-shirts when I get a water. So I haven't really gotten to test that paint out. You gotta, um, um, I used the 4012 reducer on it, and I really like to over reduce. I'll use two drops of paint to like six drops, eight drops, ten drops reducer sometimes, and it sprays a hell of a lot better because I got a this nozzle in this airbrush is just a two millimeter nozzle. So, and I find it works fine. As long as you clean your brush out properly afterwards, And even during, while you're painting, switching colors and make sure you flush your um, make sure you flush your paint good, and you shouldn't have a problem. And when you do reduce your 
paint like that, you have to cut down on your air pressure. I might be using, I might have it set on 20 on the compressor. Then I have the Mac valve on here too. And I choke it down some more. And I don't have any problems. And usually like, cause I've just taken off two, two months straight, no air rushing. And if there was gonna be a control problem, you would see it now after taking two months off. But Cut your pressure down. Then your paint properly. Build up your colors slowly. And you should be good. And if you thin it too much, you could add transparent base to it to give it some substance or, um, I don't know, I can't think of the right word to use, but it kind of thickens up the paint a little bit after you reduced it too much, if you're having a problem with it. For me, I just choke back the pressure a little bit more and I'm good. I'm using uh, Yupo paper or Yupo paper, depending on how you pronounce it. It's spelled Y U P O, which is a synthetic paper. They make other kinds of synthetic paper which are more expensive. I'm working with a punk ass budget, so I use this. It's like five dollars a sheet for a size 20 by 26 where I'm at. You can even find it cheaper online. There's a few people out on in those airbrush groups selling it. lockout is looking. I might be painting on cardboard in six months. Excuse me, martial law, I should have said.
personally, I think that it's going to last longer than they say it is. Any more questions? I'm also doing a mentorship program in uh, the Airbrush for Life group. If you want to have somebody guide you through the process of learning how to do this. Myself and a few other artists. If you don't dig the way I do it, you might dig the way they do it. And I'm doing that for free, so don't abuse me. Oh, you know what that sound means. Battery's dying. Let's see if I can do it with the plug in. I started with eighty two percent, believe it or not. Jerry, appreciate you guys stopping through, checking me out. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ow, what's good, bro? How you feeling? It's another one of my favorite internet artists. The man does some fly work. Yeah, I finally picked up the airbrush after a two month layoff. I think it's two months, might be three actually. Well, almost three. Wait, Oscar, what's good with you, bro? I'm doing this on that Yupo paper I've been doing for the, about the last year now. I like it because it's cheaper than canvas and there's no prep. And those of you that know me, I can paint on anything from um, t-shirts, sneakers, motorcycles, vans, cars. Paint on anything if it don't move. I've even painted on people before. Guess everybody bounced when they heard my battery make that I'm dying on you noise. And it ain't charging them down to 13%. So I think I'm gonna cut this one short. Charge up, we might come back on later. I'll put up a post and ask if people want me to come back on later. If they do, I will. charging like this. This is where I'm at for the moment. I'm going to get into our eyes a little bit and I'm going to shut down the video on the uh, computers because it's just about at two hours. People don't watch videos that long unless they're really into it like I do. So I'm going to say Peace. And uh, I'll probably
probably come back on later. And here's where I'm at with this for the moment. For the YouTubers. Some more skin tones and uh, in the next video and get to the leather jacket so until then peace check you later